In this video, I show you how to connect your MacBook to a monitor. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end to the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. Here we are at my desk and as you can see, I've gone and connected my laptop to my monitor. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to do this and all of the tips and tricks as well. Now this guide is for the old MacBooks, the new MacBooks and the older MacBooks as well, as they all do very little bit with the ports and the cables we can go and utilise. The first thing we need to do is go and look at our MacBook and go and see which ports it's got. As some laptops are going to just have the normal USB-C ports, some are going to have HDMI ports and others are not going to have them at all. So the first thing we're going to go and do is go and look at our MacBooks and our monitors ports so we can go and decide what adapters we're going to need and what cables we're going to need. So let's go and look at our laptop. So you want to go and look on the side. As you can see on the right side of my MacBook, I've got an HDMI and USB port. And on the left hand side of my MacBook, I've gone and got the power cable. I've then got two Thunderbolt ports and then I've got a USB port. So there we go, there are the ports we've got. Of course, everyone's MacBook is gonna be slightly different as they all vary quite a lot. So I just had a quick look at the back of this monitor here and the inputs I do have are HDMI and DisplayPort. So therefore, in my situation, I can go and use an HDMI cable simply because I've got an HDMI output on my laptop and an input my monitor. However, I know in a lot of people's cases, they're gonna to need to go and use adapters. I'll put a few on the screen right now. This is what they look like. For example, if you've only got USB-C ports and you can go and get an adapter for this and you can go and have an HDMI cable with that as well and then you can go and connect it to your monitor. But there are tons of different adapters out there and monitors as well. I'll load and link them down below so you can go and check those out. But once you've got your cable and your adapter, then all you want to do is go and plug it in. And here we are, this is what it looks like and I now want to go and go through a few settings on the MacBook we go and change. So for example, depending on where your laptop and your monitor are, you want to be able to go and drag them. So if you go and drag, say, a program from your MacBook to your computer screen, in my case, I want it to go straight up. However, at the minute, I may have to drag it to the side and then it comes up on one of the monitor sides. So I'll go and show you how to change that now. So come onto your laptop or your monitor and then go and open up system preferences just down here and then wait for this to load. And then all you want to do is go and locate displays just here, click here. And then what you want to do is come into here and next to display, We've got this arrangement tab, so click arrangement. And as you can see at the moment, the arrangement is, is that my laptop is to the left of my monitor. However, it's actually below it. So what I'm gonna go and do is go and drag it just like so. I'm gonna drag it below my monitor, just like so. And then I'll show you what it looks like. And also in the arrangement tab as well, we've got this option here where we can go and mirror displays. And what this will do is exactly what is on our laptop is gonna be displayed on our monitor. However, I prefer it to be different so I can go and utilize both displays, but that's gonna be up to you. And now if I go and drag a window up, it moves up directly just like that, which is a lot easier than having to go and drag it to the side and then it coming onto the side. And that is the most important setting to go and change when using your MacBook with a monitor. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider subscribing and leaving a like as well. I look forward to catch you in the next one. Peace.